watch this. So the origin of mimes dates back to the worship of Dionysus. The Greeks also built a theater in Athens to honor their false god Dionysus. And this is where the mimes would perform as they gave honor to Dionysus. Dionysus is the god of grape harvest, wine making, orchard, and fruit, vegetation, fertility, insanity, ritual madness, religious ecstasy, festivity, and theater in ancient Greek religion and myth. Also, according to mythology, Dionysus was born from the five Zeus. And this male god was raised as a female. So his followers would honor him by practicing sexual immorality. And according to history, the mimes would perform homosexual acts and many other detestable things as they honored Dionysus in the theater. Notice on this statue, Dionysus is depicted as a male god with female characteristics, which alludes to transgenderism. Take a look at this. The theater of Dionysus in Athens was one of the most important theaters in ancient Greece. Initially built of timber in the 6th century BC, the theater was named in honor of the Greek deity, a wine and theater, Dionysus. So the theater of Dionysus was built before Jesus was manifested in the flesh. This means the mimes and the worship of Dionysus was taking place in the days of Jesus Christ's earthly ministry and the apostles as well. Listen to this. Dionysus was considered to be the source of fertility of the great vines, and one of his symbols was the phallus. The phallus is a symbol of a male's reproductive organ. I told you this false god represented sexual immorality. Let's move further. Listen to this. He was also viewed as the source of life. So the ceremonies dedicated to him included a variety of sexual immoral practices. The cult attracted the common people because it promised eternal life to worshipers and catered to human lust aroused by the pagan cults. Drunkenness and sexual immorality was so extreme during celebrations in Dionysus' honor that his worship was banned for a time in Rome because it was too perverted. Listen to this. The word orgy comes from the Greek orgia, meaning secret rites, which referred to the secret rites of Dionysus, the Greek god of wine and lovemaking. Dionysus' followers was so extreme in their sexual immoral practices that the name Orgia describes their sexual immoral ceremonies that they dedicated to Dionysus.